This renewal course hopes to see the participants being able to harmoniously combine all these dimensions, gradually achieving their inner unity, marking the priest as a clear and living image of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. The pastoral character of formation therefore further trains ministers to know how to represent Christ to humanity, who did not come to have service done to him, but to serve others. The integration of these dimensions of ongoing formation is directed toward the program's overarching vision that the priest participants become persons who are renewed in their faith commitment as they fully participate in the mission of the Church. The challenge posed by this vision provides the basic drive for this course to be guided by the light of the following principles. First, the utmost significance of faith experience expressed in a particular culture. Second, a mission and ministry inspired by the examples of Christ. Third, a way of seeing, acting, relating, and celebrating life in harmony with peoples of diverse cultures and in communion with other Christian brethren and those from other faith traditions. Fourth, an approach that values the contributions of other disciplines to learning experience. Fifth, managing change processes inspired by the principles of servant leadership. Guided by the above principles, the program seeks to realize the following objectives. First, enable priests to make sense of significant life issues and resolve these in a manner that it would bring about greater self-enhancement, especially personal maturity. Second, made them see clearly the essence that constitutes priestly ministry through a rediscovery of the charism and lifestyle befitting servant ministers of God. Third, evaluate their views on church and mission based on concrete human experiences, thus build an updated, more relevant theological pastoral framework. Fourth, offer an experience of community life with fellow priests founded on mutual trust and support necessary in dealing with the dynamics of community building and formulating community building goals within a parish setting. Fifth, upgrade priests' capabilities for participatory research, communication, project development and management, community organization, and other skills in view of empowering the local church. To meet the said objectives, the course dishes out the following modules. First, perspectives on transformative praxis, which include socio-philosophical foundations of development, principles of interrelatedness, and the Christian social teachings. Second, process of clarifying and developing values toward healing, wholeness, and effective human relations. Third, Sociocultural perspective for understanding the community. Fourth, community development principles, theories and practice, and related topics like community organizing, participatory action research, conflict management, project development and management, and community disaster risk reduction. Fifth, an integrating development paradigm known as co creating sustainable bioregional communities. Sixth, Communication for Development. Seventh, Constructing Training Designs and Use of Training Techniques. Eighth, Theological Pastoral Renewal Sessions focused on models of church and mission, a new way of being church through basic ecclesial communities and the new evangelization, movement of accompaniment in the local church. Ninth, a field exposure in basic ecclesial communities as a learning experience facilitating personal encounter and dialogue with the people. Welcome to our summer program of renewal here at the Asian Social Institute. You have two months by which you can journey to your own mission as priests and how you can be most effective to serve our people. 
Our Holy Father Benedict XVI declared 2012 as the year of evangelization to mark precisely a three-year preparation for the golden anniversary of the implementation of the Second Vatican Council by 2015. And our Holy Father enjoins whole Christendom to accept, to embrace, and to promote the challenges of the new evangelization. You know pretty well, my dear fellow priests, that our mission and our vocation is to evangelize our societies. But the Holy Father has given us a higher level of challenge by declaring new evangelization. And for him, this means a new way of looking at our problems in our society now and coming up with new methods and new approaches to cope with the challenging demands of our fellow society. We are, also have, we are also asked to have a kind of new fervor, a new spirit, a new way of accomplishing the kingdom of God's demands for our society today. The program here at ASI this summer is an attempt to equip you with those new tools and methods for the new evangelization. I understand that as priests and pastors in your respective communities, you have had your own share of building the people of God. You to have your own pastoral skills, your own pastoral vision, and a pastoral heart to help our people. You have proven that. But that is not enough. We need to look at the new society, to look at the future. We need to be in touch with the present cultures of the youth, the marginalized in our society, and see in what way we can be more effective in our evangelization efforts. For Benedict the 16th, new evangelization means that we must be able to understand cultures of people, the cultures of you know, present, the present world of secularism, the culture of modernization with the present global communications, the challenges of having our environment and ecology in jeopardy because of the destruction of what God has given us, the pressure of migration, all these challenges and problems are here in our country and I'm sure also in your own back home situation. And the evangelization is asking us, how do we understand culture? How do we cope with cultural changes? How do we cope with the changes in our society? How do we manage change? And how do we transform people? How do we organize people so that they can be on their own? They can be self-propelling. How can we make about effective changes in our society? These are the demands of the new evangelization. And here, the forces at ASI, we provide you with the skills. And I pray that the course that you take up in this place will be like a journey. It's a journey in faith. We believe and we trust in your role as pastors, in your being shepherds of our people but we want to help you further. And not only with skills, but with a broader and a much bigger picture of our past in the church now in our society. I hope that your stay with us here at ASI becomes also a journey in hope. There's so much to do in our world. There's so much to do in your diocese, dioceses, in your own res respective parishes. There's so much to do because evangelization is our vocation. Evangelization is our mission. My dear participants to this summer program, may it be a program of renewal to all of you. God bless you as you join me this coming two months. Thank you.